Okay, welcome to this quick installation video of the ME435 energy meter. So the first step is to make sure that you've got um, fully charged batteries installed. So just make sure the batteries are fully charged and that it's ready to go. Uh, I just attached some Velcro as well to the back so it's easy to, to mount as well. And um, then also make sure that everything's set up properly. You've set up the proper date, time, um, CT ratios, uh, type of CT and so forth. Okay, uh, that's all explained in one of the previous videos. Uh, you can just uh, double check here that uh, you set the right, the right um, type of CT like a Rigovsky coil or, or solid core or so forth. So just double check uh, all your settings. Um, SD card, you can set the logging interval. Okay, so this one is set to um, every 15 minutes, which is a bit much. Um, every one minute or so is also is actually preferable. So every sec 60 seconds, save settings, and you can also change your date and time and so forth. Okay. So as a second step, uh, let's install our current transformers or Rigovsky coils. So as you can see, there's uh, three of them. So just to uh, show how it how it works, um, it's got an arrow there uh, showing the flow of current. So uh, this will be the the source, and this will be the load. So the network and the house, and then it just there's a button there that you can just click to open it. And it just clicks in like that and this goes around your wire your wire and it's quite flexible and easy to install in tight places which is often a, a problem in uh, a lot of distribution boards okay okay so let's install the current transformer so let's open up the distribution board just uh, remove the door to make the access easier and and the main supply just make sure your arrows is pointing the right way so from the supply to the load and just click it in and do that for the second one as well and the third one So um, this one is just to turn the way the other way around because it's you know, installed the other way, but it's all facing to the source. Uh, if it's installed the wrong way around, then you'll see a negative uh, flow of current in your meter. Okay, so as a next step, install the voltage sensing wires. So just note phase A, B and C. So A is yellow, B green and C red. Okay. So, phase A goes into your first phase, voltage, voltage sensor. And see. Great, so let's connect up the meter. First, the current sensors. So, phase A, which is yellow, goes there. Oh, uh, phase B goes there. 
and what if a c Great, so that's uh, for three current sensors and then the voltage sensor. Phase A, B, and C, and to neutral. Great. Okay, so now that all the current sensors and voltage sensors are connected, turn on the meter and make sure you're getting the readings you're expecting. So, uh, once I turn on the switches, you'll see the, the three voltages and the average. And if we go over to the next page, you'll see the current on the three phases. Uh, and it's all positive, so all the CTs are installed the correct way around. And you see the active power of the of the three phases and the average. Great, and that's how to install the ME four three five meter.